<laughs> says the one who uh, fell off the side of the. Yeah, never mind. We just gotta connect all of this lovely stuff to you know what ladan gate way over here let's put repeaters at random spaces uh, point here okay now let's hook up the door shall we piston door maybe I'm feeling a piston door How am I going to do this? Okay. I'm going to do it this way. Pop. Pop. I'm going to do that. Okay. Pick up this over here. And you have to hook it up to. to the invert it. I have an inverter going on. Now the doors are pushing it. Okay. Now we have to hook it up to that. This trips. I'm forgetting. This trips. That's not what we want. We don't need the inverter. Now, let's test this bad boy out. One, two, three, four, five. Enter. And you see the repeaters go and it gets stuck right here. And it closes. Okay. Now, let's say. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. We still have to hook it up so that it resets. So we're going to take the end of the loop. which is over there. Take the end of the loop. Over of this away. Let's just make sure it still works.
And basically what we have to do now is connect this redstone to the first RS no latch or to the wiring at the reset button. And if you decide to change up all the wiring so that you have to change, put in a different sequence, this and the redstone wiring for the reset button will go to the first RS nor latch in the sequence. That is important. The first RS nor latch in the sequence. Come on, there we go. Blah 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 blah. It's gonna go this way. One final test. Two. Actually, we have to do two more tests, at least. We've gotta check if it works again. Now we reset button. Now let's do it. One, two, three. Three, four, five. That opens. It closes. And if we go back in and try to hit the enter button again, it, you die. See? That's how you do it. Now, the simple task of getting back in is very simple. The simple task of getting back in is very simple. Wow, way to go, me. Basically, all you gotta do is put a button somewhere. I'm gonna put the button here. And here. Which goes here. It's snowing. That's good. Wait, I gotta think about this for a second. Okay. Oh, okay, if, if, if you want to do it that way, we have to do... is... hook it up like this. If you want the button to get back in, you will need to do it like this. I'm put a repeater right here. That I can, sort of. What does all this stupid, stupid smell? Okay. We're gonna do that. 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 Leave the redstone off of it. Coming out. Get all this stuff. And basically just 
wire this up to that. button what let me watch this all right so then why is it oh that's why fixable It was because this would emit a pulse which would then activate these, but then the short time this wasn't active and this was active, or the short time where they switched it would close. Um, now this should work. Except now I can't get too hot! There we go. Uh, let's click that into button. I'm floating, so turn it back. One final test. One, two, three, four, five. Enter. Success! I hope you guys enjoyed my Let's Build with me. Um, I wouldn't call this more of a tutorial, I just call this a Let's Build. Or you can call it a tutorial, I, tell, I guess, too. Whatever you want to call it. I'm calling it a Let's Build with Corgicon. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this guide to building this combination lock. And look at all that wiring. You build this and show it off. Your friends will think you're a, mind, a redstone genius. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe. And, uh... Peace out.